Hi, this is Chippy from midmoves.com. I haven't had a chance to tell you about the compound mid that I've got uh, yet, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the device. Um, so this is basically an OEM device, which means it's from the, the manufacturer. It's not actually the the end version. So the software on here is kind of uh, a demonstrator version of the software. may not be the latest, but it's not bad. It's, it's definitely worth going through. The form factor is... Uh, 4.8 inch screen with 800 by 480 um, resolution, which is a very nice resolution for this size device. 350 grams in weight, really quite nice and pocketable and holdable in the hand. It's got a nice keyboard, so full keyboard there with with numerics behind the the, the function button, but it's, it's all there and uh, quite easy. To use going around the device, um, there's a slot here for an external GPS antenna, indicator light that shows you when it's connected to the internet. There's a shutter release button here for the camera. There's a headset button, USB port here, um, a rocker switch for the volume, and there's another set of ports here. So there's a mini USB port and a micro SD port there. On the left hand side, there's nothing. Uh, on the underside you've got the power input there and the rocker switch and microphone. The rocker sw switch allows you to lock the device so that you can actually put it in your pocket and leave it on which is uh, which is good. Going onto the back of the device you've got a speaker on the top uh, top left here. It's a mono speaker but it's actually really really good quality. It's, uh, it's great for listening to radio stations and for um, videos as well. On the right here is something quite interesting. This is a 3 megapixel autofocus camera, so reasonably high quality in terms of what you find on any any sort of PC or laptop and any mids I've tested before as well. So I've tested the quality of that. It's pretty good as well. Top right is uh, an expanding stylus and that just slots in there. So it's a power reset button on the bottom right. Going on to the front, there's a second webcam here. Uh, I think that's 0 0.3 megapixel, obviously used for uh, video conferencing. And on the right, what looks like a mouse pointer, but it's actually a smart key button, and you'll see that window slide in there, which has got four options to go straight to home, browser, email, or standby. There we go. So each of the icons at the bottom brings up selections as you can see there. So on the left hand side it's basically the browser with some bookmarks. Um, the browser is based on Firefox or rather Mozilla Core. It's called Coolfox um, and it's got the Mozilla Core just as you'd see on Firefox 3 on the desktop but it's slightly modified to make it a little bit simpler taking away some capabilities uh, in, in, in order to make it uh, simpler. So in fact, let me just go, I hit one of the bookmarks and see how quick it can just get to the website. Browsing speed pretty fast. I'm connected over Wi-Fi here. You can expect about half or less of the browsing time that you get on the best of smartphones. So this is the full website loaded there in well under 10 seconds. As you can see, you can move around on it fairly easily and click links with your finger because it's touchscreen. Got multi tab capability so you can start up second tabs and let's uh, start up quickly a second tab there. So I can be looking at one website and have another one in the background. So this is the main feature of the device and the and the browsing is is way, way better than you get on a on any sort of smartphone. And because of the 800 by 480 screen, you can see every website as it comes up without having to zoom in or anything that uh, takes Very time. Simple, that's the Cool Fox browser plus the uh, links up there. Moving on, there's a chat section. You've got Pigeon, which is a common Linux based um, instant messenger system with support for a lot of protocols, and Skype. So there's actually a Skype client here, um, which I'll start up now. This has support for voice and messaging and not for. Um, not for video as far as I know, but I haven't actually um, 
tested that yet. But uh, voice seems to work work fine, and the user interface is quite uh, is quite nice as well. It's tailored for the device. So while that's loading, I can go back to the home screen, take you on further. We've got some media capabilities here. So we've got the photo viewer. Let's just bring that up. It's got a gesture-based interface. So if we click on the first image there, go to full screen, I can just swipe across. I can even rotate and back using gestures. So that's quite a nice application. We've got a fairly straightforward music application, um, which, uh, as I mentioned, the, the actual speaker is pretty good quality. So that's quite reasonable for playing playlists. No real good library facilities in that though. There's a last FM radio application on this one, so I can log in and um, play my favourite stations. I think I've already pre-configured my... Here we go, and that's playing my favourite stations from last FM straight away. So of course I can go back to the home menu while that's playing in the background. Uh, there's a video player on here as well, which does fairly good quality uh, videos. It'll play up to a good couple of meg, uh, maybe two megabits per second on H.264 videos. And because of the high res screen, it's really nice, really nice uh, quality. So actually, I've got Last FM playing in the background plus the video here. Oh, that's nice. That works for most formats, not all formats. Be a little bit careful with that, but most formats work. Meanwhile, let's go back to that Skype application. I'll just close last FM Skype application here. So you've got all your contacts here, and I'm able to um, chat or um, call any of those contacts. Got my current um, credit up there at the top right. The user interface looks really nice, so really no no problems with that. Coming out of that, there's a couple of other applications that are interesting. There's a cast, live casting application which allows you to, to stream to livecast.com using the built-in webcam. Moving on, uh, audio recorder. So that uses the um, built-in microphone to record. One, two, and I can play that back fairly so that's quite handy. And then we've got ebook reader, which is, um, I can't remember the name, FB reader. Yep. Okay. FB reader as the ebook reader, PDF reader, calendar, to do list, dictionary, email client, which um, is Silfeed, I guess, um, and Open Office as well. There's a stock application there, which I think actually goes straight to websites, which is just a link. It's a GPS application, which is not working because this has got GPS built in, but the uh, application hasn't been built into this uh, preview version. And then we've got some games uh, built into this, which are quite basic, but um, just demonstrating the capabilities of the uh, of the gaming. Go back to the let's escape from that. And then settings on the right hand side. So you've got file manager, calculator. I don't know why calculator is under the settings. It should be under the office, camera, and the SD card. So that's about it. That's the Compel uh, Mid, uh, available in a number of different uh, brands now. You can get it in uh, Italy under the uh, TIM, uh, Telecom Italia Network, under SFR in France. It's available in England through Expanses as the Gigabyte model, uh, through Mobilix uh, in Hungary as the iGo. And it's coming soon in the US and to other parts of the world as well. So, really nice device. Liking it a lot. There's a lot, of, a lot more uh, um, uh, scope for improved software there. But um, as this is a, a base sort of demo version, it's uh, all impressive uh, as it is. I forgot to mention built-in 3G Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on this one. Two, four gigs of RAM, 800 megahertz Intel Atom processor. So that's Chippy from midmoves.com with the Compal Mid.